2021, St. Louis City asked their fans to vote for the local restaurants they wanted to see at the new stadium. The club received over 10,000 submissions in one spot. A hot dog shop run by a rock star slash bodybuilder was the clear fan favorite. But then a really bad thing happens. <sighs> yeah. A global pandemic. 300 dogs a day at its highest points when the pandemic started. No money, no hot dogs. Well, the doors are closing at Steve's at Hot Dogs. Lowest, he had a tough time during the pandemic. He there will be a farewell bash at Steve's Hot Dogs on Saturday. No money, no hot dogs. <laughs> The closing last year was brief, thanks to an outpouring by the community. Steve's Hot Dogs is set to receive $20,000. Steve's Hot Dogs will deliver around 300 meals a week to local organizations. try to get to know you and get to know how you became the king of hot dogs from being such an amazing musician. Man, well, we've been playing music now like 35 years almost now with the urge. So we started back in 87. I was actually still in high school playing shows at VFW halls and small bars and things like that. And then as soon as high school was out, we kind of hit the road. During that period of time, we were able to sign our record deals and, you know, do the whole radio thing and stay on the road. So that kind of blew up and that was nice. And uh, when I moved back to St. Louis, I had, you know, my performance schedule was still there with The Urge and with the Steve Ewing band. I knew I wanted to do something else besides just music. Um, I wanted to be in, in food. And so I, I, I love street food. I love that whole interaction with people, so I started doing it with a hot dog cart. And I bet you saw a lot of that on the road, like a ton of it. So <laughs> a lot of street food. I saw how the food and the music just went together. So I'm like, I can do that too. And I was starting small, so I felt like I was, I had a lot to learn anyway. So it, it worked out just fine. You know, by the time we got the restaurant open, I knew my product. I knew, had some ideas on how we could do the, you know, the, the crazy things with the hot dogs, you know, for the shop. What's St. Louis mean to you? I mean, you're such a huge part of St. Louis. Talk to me a little bit about that. People have been showing me, you know, support uh, for a long time. You know, we started with music and uh, this, this is my town, man. Nothing but, nothing but love here. And they're going to be so excited yeah. <laughs> when, they, yeah. when they hear that you're in the stadium. Yep. So I've heard a lot about the first location of Steve's. <laughs> When's the last time you went down there? Man, I haven't been down there in years. I'm trying to think of it right now, but yeah, you, you gotta, you gonna love that spot. Can you show it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. All let's. right, let's go. <laughs> uh, you were talking a little bit about your original location what brought you to north grand i did a little research and they were they were the research came back just basically if you put your cart in industrial areas like factories around a lot of truck drivers uh you could pretty much get the same people every day so you could kind of build up a business that way and it worked so for that season that first season i did it i did really great out there at that corner, I saw a truck driver literally like every 30 seconds. 
So I had a lot of people moving around that couldn't stop to get food. Yeah. So they would literally pull off real quick and I'd throw a hot dog at them and be gone. So <laughs> That's so smart. So it worked out nice, yeah. On a bad day, you can't go out there and make any money. So at that point, I'm like, I need a brick and mortar. There was a little spot on the hill, which I spotted and loved. And then we started Steve's Hot Dogs. Coming up to the stadium, right? Yeah. Yes. Here it comes. <laughs> I right. cannot wait. It's so incredible. It's come such a, yeah. such a long way. It's going to be great for this city. And what a, what a way to rebound from COVID. So full of promise and so exciting. Yep. Looking forward. So how, how did you deal with COVID? How'd that affect you? Had a pretty crazy time during COVID. We were considered essential. So out of the box, I just made the decision that I did not want to close. We had some kind of momentum going for us and I just didn't want to close. So I'm like, whatever we have to do to stay open. So it was all about delivery, curbside and pickup. My spot is right where you see that, uh, those yellow, where you see those garages, those empty garages right there. This, this corner right here. That was my spot right there. Check it out. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Look at this, was it? This is it, this is it, yes. I can't believe it. I haven't been back here in so long, man. Yeah, this is the spot. You've come a long way. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. So this is where we would do it. We would, uh, I'd basically pull pull off of my trailer, come through here, park here, whatever, and I'd set up my cart right here on this corner. I have my cart, my little table, my drinks, all my condiments, everything was like right here. So like I did it like every morning. That's that pretty is cool. amazing. Yeah. So from here to the soccer stadium. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> been thinking at all about what you're gonna serve? Yes, we got it. We got it all laid out. Yeah. We got some some really cool stuff we're gonna do. It lines up with the city, with the team, with everything. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I, I, let me show you what I got working. All right. All right. Can't wait to try this signature dog. Man, we got three dogs we're gonna bring out to the stadium the St. Louis style hot dog, which is the official dog of St. Louis. We got the bacon, bacon Jamaican, which is my personal favorite, big seller here in the shop. And then we got the classic Chicago style dog. Now, did you say the St. Louis dog? Yeah. Tell me about that. We got the Board of Aldermen to agree that this is the official dog of the city, St. Louis. Wow. So it's gonna be perfect for the stadium, man. Can't wait to try that one. Yeah. Most people are making hot dogs, you know, like old school, New York, streetcar, dirty water dog. No thoughts really put into the ingredients. Yeah, so we wanted to elevate it past that. So we, first off, we started with the bun. The bread is, to me, it has to be everything. It's like crispy on the outside, a little soft on the inside, and you gotta chew it a little bit, but that's part of the whole thing. And so to put it into perspective, this one you're on the hill, right? We're on the right? hill, yeah. So you're like an Italian bakery Dude, across yes. the street. Yes. Giving you a bun made from pizza dough. Yeah. You know, I mean like this yeah. is this is how something comes up organically. Right? It's totally how it comes up yeah. because I was using resources that were around me. So we started using the bread from Vitali's. We started getting meats from the Emo Meat Company. The smoking concept for the dogs was something, it was, we started just doing was festivals. We're like, let's start making smoke because <laughs> when you make smoke, there's a crowd. Yeah. So we started smoking the hot dogs out on festivals. I'm like, man, that's a pretty good flavor right flavor there. Profile. That's crazy. So that's how that started. That's awesome. Yeah. Everything else, I was like, man, we got to use the best cheeses to, you know, try to do as much as we can from scratch. Um, just so when people bite into it, it's, it's got that elevated flavor to it, man. It's not just like the dog you get on the street. And the perfect thing about that is it really creates 
a local dog. So when you say a St. Louis, St. Louis hot dog, I mean like it's a yeah. St. Louis hot dog. You're not you know, gonna buns, get this ingredients, yeah, stuff just... like that. I'm a huge sandwich guy. I love sandwiches. So I'm like, man, this sandwich, but this this better be like on par with my favorite sandwich. Well, so I mean, that's the big question, right? Yeah. yeah. Is a hot dog a sandwich? In my, <laughs> if you ask me, I will say yes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I agree, man. Because that's how I treat it. I treat it like, like it's just a really awesome, well done sandwich. Meat between man. two pieces yes. of bread. Hell yeah. When people go to a game, a lot of people just want a very good hot dog, and you're giving them dog. like the best hot. We're dog. We're gonna give them the best hot dog they've ever had in that stadium. All right, so why don't you uh, teach me how to, how to make this so dog? So this is awesome. All right. All right. So let's start with um, some, some provolone cheese. All right, provolone cheese. One piece or two? Just one piece. One piece, all right. Yeah. All right, all right. Then let's get a dog. All right, got a dog right here. Got a dog, OK. Yeah. It's fresh off the grill. Yep. <laughs> now let's get some, some, uh, some sauteed onion. All right, some onions. And some peppers. Got some green peppers. Oh man, that's looking good. All right, and then next we get a little crumbled bacon. All right. <laughs> cool. This is looking so good. And then we have our smoked pepper mustard. Just a little zigzag oh, going on Oh, look here. at that. Woo! I think you've been in the kitchen <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we got- And then we put some bananas on top. We start to finish with banana peppers. Some banana peppers, I love banana peppers. Oh man. All right. All right, Steve. I, there you go. That's, I am sorry. I feel like I butchered your your no, special you just dish. That dude. <laughs> I can't wait. So to that is the that. St. Louis style hot dog. All right, let's take this outside. Rock, it's rocked. It's rocked. Sweet. Sweet. We're gonna sell a lot of these in the stadium. Man, I know we are. Man. My crew is ready for this. We're so hyped for this, man. man. So are we. Sweet. It's the bomb, man. It's the St. Louis style. Nobody, Hobbin King. No one trying to stop me. Might as well join the team. By the way, I embody. I know that they plotting, I know that they watching, but nobody stop me. I know that they plotting, I bet that they watching, but nobody stop me. Cause I got some bros way back home, I know that they got me. Spirit be swinging sometimes, it is your bite on my body. I know that they watch me, so my angels don't copy. I know that they watch me, but nobody can stop me.